Hey there, nothing better than a good lawnmower to make your day easier. This is what we've got right now. Much better than a, much better than a, that other one. So anyway, this thing, uh, this thing does the job. Of course, you know, I still got a lot to knock down, but you know, it's been cleaning it up for me. Helping me to get it knocked down really good. That's a good lawnmower right there. Ah, anyway, I need to check the oil, make sure it's got good oil in it. And uh, I've been running it. Um, well, I ran it a little bit day before yesterday and then some today as well. So anyway, I'm uh, going to keep working at it. And uh, I need to put a tow hitch on there. There's a spot right there for a tow hitch. I got, I got a little trailer I want to pull behind this. It's at the back of my yard. You might have seen it in one of my other videos. But anyway, that's that's what I'm using right now to keep keep these uh, keep the uh, yard mowed. Uh, I still got a lot to do. Haven't totally gotten it mowed. Of course, over there is part of my garden. I'm not going to mow it down. I'll be using my push mower and my weed eater and all around that. But right now, this this is what I'm working on. Right here, this spot. I gotta move my ladder and some old jars and odds and ends and I'm gonna mow over this real quick with the big mower and then come in and finish it off a little bit with my push mower and uh, when I use my push mower I use the bagger and bag up stuff it's kind of like vacuuming it up getting everything out of there and then uh, of course this previous year uh, we had to clean this spot up for tomatoes so I'm getting ready to put some tomato plants in here and uh, right here next to the house is a good spot because the this is the south facing wall and uh, at least of this part of the house um, yeah anyway so this is the south facing wall so it, it gets a lot of sunshine and tomatoes love sunshine so that's that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put it right there so anyway that's what I'm doing today. And uh, again, this is Donald making a few videos. And uh, it's a really nice day. Really, really, really nice day. It's been a little humid. The mosquitoes have been out a little bit, but other than that, it's great. And uh, so anyway, right there's my uh, spot where I'm gonna put in some tomatoes. And I'm gonna show you, you know, a little steps here and there how I do it and uh, you know maybe I'll give you a few ideas to you know for what you can do on yours so anyway talk to you later and uh, be happy and be safe and uh, give me some thumbs up give me some comments whatever you feel like talk to you later bye there's my ladder All right, I picked up some stuff, moved my ladder, uh, found some old uh, jars and things like that that were sitting out there, and I put those down in the cellar. That cellar, out there's the door to my cellar. Must be a 20 degree difference between out here and down there. I walk down there, it's like going into air conditioning. All it is is just a cellar. There's there's no cooling system in there at all. It's just down underneath and it's like going into a cave really nice but anyway uh, I'm gonna get ready to mow this and uh, then I'm gonna clean that up and I'm gonna turn it into a, a tomato garden right here because this is the uh, south side of the house it's just right now it's uh, in the evening and the sun's in the west so we've got shade except for you know over there so anyway it's a good spot for some tomatoes. Out of the wind. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. Turn this into our gate, tomato garden. All right, ran the lawnmower over that. And uh, every bit of this was pretty tall. So anyway, got a lot of that mowed down. 
Um, still got to do the edges up. I, I don't want to get my riding lawnmower all, all up in there. Oh yeah, but I got some. I got some plants here. I don't want them cut down necessarily. I want them to go to seed. And uh, these make pretty little, tiny little white flowers. So anyway, you can see those. I want to keep those. I don't want to mow those down. So anyway, oh, a lot to do. Here's a better, better view of that spot over there next to the house where I'm going to put the tomatoes. So anyway, it's, it was a big mess out here because we had a week and a half full of rain. And then I was working all the time and, you know, my lawnmowers were broken. Couldn't keep the darn things going. Now we got that. And that really helps. Um, anyway. I'm going to keep working on my videos for putting in my tomato garden. And, uh, got a good, good start in the cleanup. So I'll get in here. I mean... It doesn't look like it right now, but last year we had this cleaned out. You know, this this stuff just spreads and grows really well, really, really, really well. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm going to show you how I handle this. And, and uh, you know, the, the, that grass right there is just, it's in there. I don't know what they call it. Well, we always called it Bermuda grass. I don't know what the real name is, but... This is a thick, lush carpet. You can see over there that green, how lush. You keep it mowed, it's almost like a, uh, it's like a golf course, sort of. I don't know. Really nice. Of course, the, the brown is where, you know, it was really high, of course, and still covered up. The green is where I had it mowed before. But it, it comes in really nice and pretty. But I don't like it in my garden. So I'm going to have to go in here and do some digging. And loosen up the soil. and I don't know. See what I can do. I'll come up with something. And I'll show you later. Thanks. I don't want the tomatoes right up next to the house. Because I, I need to be able to get behind them to, you know, to, you know, walk freely. And, and it, they also need, you know, plenty of ventilation because, you know, tomatoes, you know, if they don't have enough ventilation, you know, like air moving behind them, then, uh, you know, they're, they're not going to do all that well. So I'm going to put them out as away from the house, sort of centered on that door right there. And uh, you can see where I got that shovel. So I'm going to dig some holes. I'm going to put compost down in, in the bottom of those holes. And I'm going to set, of course, and start with the big tomato plants. And then I've got, see, I've got these two big ones. And then I've got four in each one of those. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got 10 tomato plants. And of course, they're all different. You know, well, I mean, those four are the same. Those four are the same. One of these is like one of those. And then a one that's a little bit different. So we're going to have a variety of tomatoes in this little tomato garden. But what I need to do is dig some holes right they need to be deep enough for me to to put those tomatoes down not not just the part that's in the not just what's in the bucket but go up the stem a little bit it needs to be under the dirt right and that way you know the stems will put out more roots and you know the more stem and roots you have under the ground the, the more productive and healthy your plants are going to be because they put out more roots so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start digging some holes, which I've already started that one. And there's all kinds of stuff in that dirt. Of course, this house has been here. This has been a homestead house since uh, way before the Civil War. And, uh, you know, when I dig in, dig in my yard and uh, out in the gardens and things, I, I find things, you know, just odds and ends, like buttons and pieces of glass and porcelain, sometimes a bottle or something. You know, nothing important or, or pricey, but, you know, just stuff. So, anyway, who knows what I'll find. I'll keep you updated. So, I have plenty of space between where the 
the tomatoes are going in the house be able to keep it clean back here and uh, you know be able to run my lawnmower back here if I need to um, gives them plenty of ventilation and uh, I'll also still have plenty of room to to go and get in that door there so all right, let me back up here kind of get an idea of what what we got here from a distance all right so there we go that's that's going to be one of my tomato gardens all right i'll give you an update here a little bit look at that I went back there next to the doghouse and that's where I had my landscaping fabric laying on the ground down out there. Anyway, I went to pick this up to carry it over to my tomato garden and I'm going to use this on the ground. And as I'm walking along, I uh, start feeling stuff crawling all over me. And uh, I was just covered all over my arms and all over my shirt, covered with these darn ants. You see that? They're building a house inside of that thing. Well, at least I'm, at least they're just ants. Man, if that had been spiders, I would have been freaked out. All right. So anyway, one of the hazards of doing outside work is running across pests. And ants are just everywhere. Look at them. So anyway. Just thought you'd like to see that. All right, there's my landscaping fabric. So, been digging a hole, and what do you, what do you know? I found a pipe. Uh, not really sure. But, oh, go away, mosquitoes. Man, mosquitoes are just all over me. Anyway, I dug out a bunch of dirt. And I'm going to put some compost down the bottom of that. But I, I ran across a pipe. And uh, not sure if that pipe's being used today or not. You know, this is a really old house. And I look right up there. And up here, I see PVC. So, I don't know. I know I've got PVC in the house. And I do remember supply lines, like the water from the road coming into the house is all PVC now. And, you know, the, so the supply lines are all PVC piping. No more of that old iron piping or copper piping. But from... The bathrooms and the kitchen the washroom and all that is all pvc going back out here but is it pvc from here i thought it i thought it came out to right here where the ground is a little bit lower there because I, I was thinking it had been dug all the way out to here and then out uh who knows could be some of the old piping but I'm not going to break it. I'm going to stop right there. There ain't no way I'm going to break that because that could be very costly and dangerous as well. So anyway, those are things you have to look out for when you're digging in your yard. You have to look out for, uh, you know, where, where's all your, you know, where's your electrical at? Where's your plumbing at? Where's, where's your gas uh, pipelines at? anything like that so you gotta be very very careful but still i put forth the effort to dig the hole so i'm still going to plant my tomato right there and uh i'm also going to maybe tomorrow i'll come out here and dig some more holes right now these mosquitoes are, well you can't really see them on camera but they're just eating me up so i figured what i'd do okay i'm gonna dig the holes put compost into the holes plant my tomato plants on into the hole put the dirt back around the tomato plant so it'd be kind of a mound and that way the the stems can put out roots and into 
down in there, you know, and around around into the mound of dirt. So, what a good bit of dirt to put back on, in that and on it. So, I'm going to do, do that for each one of these tomatoes. All right. I got my five gallon bucket there and, and uh, I'm going to put some some uh, vermicompost into it. And this is the vermicompost I had the uh, little uh, the infestation in. So anyway, I'm going to put a good bit of that in there and I'm going to use that in my tomatoes. I'm going to put them in the holes. Vermicompost. Tell you what. I think that's that's really gonna be good for my tomatoes. Really, really good. Alright, so I got my second hole dug. Right? So I've got two holes dug for my bigger tomato plants there. I've got my compost. And uh so down there you can see where I, I found that drainage pipe. And uh digging on this one also found the drainage pipe so I'm not gonna force it I'm not gonna try to dig any further I did I did find some rocks so I, I dug some rocks out um, but what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and put my compost in there I'm gonna divide this out between the two holes and then I'm gonna put those tomato plants down on top of that compost and uh, trim some of the limbs, the little leaves and limbs back on the bottoms because they'll be down under under the dirt there. And like I said before, the more, uh, more of the stem that's under the dirt, the more roots it puts out and the stronger plant it's going to be. Especially if it's got good nutrients, like good soil and uh, good compost and all that. And I'll, I'll also be watering it with my compost tea so uh, we'll be able to see some some really good growth on these. Oh, man, it's hot out here. I'm starting to sweat like a, well, I can't see that. Anyway, sweating, sweating, sweating. All right, I got the compost in the holes. Can you see that down there? So I divided that bucket um, equally between the two holes here. Got my compost in there, so now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those tomato plants and I'm going to sit them down in there. And then I'm going to go get some compost tea out of my other compost tea uh, buckets in the shed. I'll just put the compost tea in this and then come back and water these really well. Compost tea has been brewing. I don't know. I've had this in here over a year. Well, not that same batch of water, but I've had my compost tea in here. It's been going. I've been using it. I add to it. I feed it. And uh, anyway, it's frothy on the top, which is good. That means it's active. So what I like to do is I, I take a... Uh, just a, uh, you know, coffee can like this. And I dip it in there. Right? We get an equal amount from each one. And then that way I'll, uh, the reason they call it tea is because, look at that, it, it looks like tea. I don't want to drop my phone down in there. But it's, it's definitely a type of tea, but it's, I wouldn't drink it, it's, <laughs> it's full of bacteria and stuff. So anyway, I'm just going to take that and I'm going to water those tomatoes really, really well. Now I'll come back and add some good, fresh, clean water to that. All right, so back to the garden. All right, 
I've poured the compost tea down in there. Give them a good thorough soaking. Uh, both of them are nicely soaked. And I'm gonna, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put the dirt back on, back in the hole and mound it up down around the bottom of it. All right, that part of the project's done for those two plants. I, uh, after watering them really well with compo compost tea, I went ahead and uh, I uh, put all that dirt back around each one of them and mounded it up in there. So I'm gonna let them sit for a few days. Uh, I'm gonna let the dirt settle and, uh, and then I'll come back out here and I'll water them really well again. Um, I've got eight little plants right there and I need to get those in the dirt. As it turned out, both of these, these two big ones, are Bradley tomatoes. So these things I know are going to take off and give us a lot of good tomatoes. So, yeah, that's what I've got right there. That thing is just ready to just pop, take off, growing. I can tell. And that one right there has already got one, two, three good tomatoes on it. They're just going to get bigger and turn red before you know it. Got blooms on them. And uh, I'm going to take a break. I'm going to go and cool off and get me something cool to drink. And uh, then I'm going to come out here and start working on planting those eight tomato plants there. When I was out there digging in the tomatoes, actually digging the holes and planting those tomatoes, I was sweating, just burning up out here. So I took my shirt off and I came over here and uh, standing in the shade and I got a breeze going through. It's much cooler in the shade and the breeze coming through, it feels great. So anyway, oh man, it's nice. I, uh, I'm watching a mama bird feed her baby bird. Looks like it's, uh, well, uh, actually it wasn't a baby bird. It was two birds doing something else. Anyway, um, working on my garden, getting everything done. I love tomatoes, so I'm working on my tomato garden. Right now I'm cooling off in the shade. Man, give me a thumbs up for, uh, for my videos and, and uh, you know, give me some comments and things like that. But for right now, I've, I'm uh, working out here in the gardens, putting in some more um, tomato plants. And I got to weed some uh, uh, garden plots that have just grown up way too much. Uh, we had way too much rain there for a while and then now we've got a lot of sunshine and these plants are just taking off a lot of them are going to see bolting uh you know so anyway give me a thumbs up give me some comments if you like my videos and uh talk to you later thank you bye it is really hot out here my uh tomato plants are wilting and uh so anyway i put that up there on top so create some shade for those Give them, give them a little time to get used to being out here in this dirt because they they were on the a different side of the house and they had more shade but today is just a really hot bright day and uh, anyway you can see how these little guys are starting to wilt as well because they're drying up <laughs> well i figured while i'm waiting i just set them in these little little uh things here So I just set these in, in, in this, and uh, I grabbed my uh, some compost tea. Uh, it's a lot of a lot of compost tea for this, but I figured I'd just go ahead and give them a good dousing and uh, let them sit in that compost tea while they're out here in the dirt. I mean, in the sunshine. So these things will 
sit there and absorb that. And uh, yeah, I'll just sit here and, and, and love that. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna keep working on these. Starting a couple of holes here. I'll put another one right here. And that way I got my uh, to plant tomato plants in a row. And then I'm gonna do a second row, you know, through here. And give them plenty of space. So I've given them space in between each one because they're going to grow and they need that, that space. And they need, uh, you know, be able to have air circulate around them. So whenever I come out to this, this second row here, I'm going to give them, you know, plenty of uh, space out this way so that we can walk in between and keep it nice and clean. All right, I got the side. Uh, taken out of the spots where I'm going to be, you know, doing the rest of my tomato plants. So, in those little planter thingies, right, there was four each, which gives me eight plants. So here I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spots. So, I've got them lined up pretty good. They don't have to be perfectly lined up, but they just need to be you know, in good orderly fashion, you know, make it easier to walk in between and, you know, give the plants plenty of room to grow and plenty of ventilation around them. And uh, I took the, the sod that I dug out and I put them right here. I turned them upside down. I wanted to see what was in the dirt, you know, so I turned them upside down and just let it dry. And, you know, I find little bits and pieces of stuff like that thing you know odds and ends I found some broken glass let's pitch that elsewhere you know just odds and ends so it's like I said in one of my other videos you know I, I dig around in the dirt in this yard and I find all kinds of stuff you know a lot of broken jar pieces um, porcelain pieces you know little odds and ends but anyway let me get back to work here i need to dig these out i'm not going to dig them too deep because those are those plants in those little pots are not very big but i'm going to dig some holes i'm going to put some compost down in these holes just like i did the others and i'll show you that as i go along and i'm going to get them planted all right get me another bucket of my vermi compost this stuff is uh, going under my tomatoes. And, uh, man, this is some crazy stuff here. It's amazing how things just turn back into dirt. But in that what God said, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Hey, there's one of my little critters, my little infestators. That right there is one of those black black flies, and they lay eggs. Looks like a black fly, yeah. And they lay the, the eggs in my compost, and that's where I got my infestation from. They uh, ended up with thousands of larvae in here, just just turning everything into into a good lar good compost. It's still vermicompost. Larvae do probably a better job than worms do but anyway that's what it is right there okay so let me get this I'm gonna take it over there to my tomatoes I'm gonna put compost I'm gonna dig each hole I'm gonna do them one at a time I'm not gonna do them all at one time because I don't want to just take the dirt and lay it on the grass and then stick the dirt back in there then I'll have grass seed and stuff in it so as I dig it out I'm putting it in, in that five gallon bucket that five gallon bucket has my compost for my vermi compost. So I'm going to take, you know, put that at the bottom, not all of it, but I'm going to put some at the bottom of the hole. I'm going to plant my little tomato plants on top of it and then put dirt back in around it. Water them real good with my uh, 
compost tea and see what happens with them. Hopefully they'll grow really well. I think they will. So let me get at it. Okay, I pulled one of these out of here and I sat it down on top of the compost that I put in there. And uh, those roots are really gonna grow into that. They're really gonna love that compost. So I'm gonna take this dirt here and I'm gonna start filling in around that. And uh, you know, just make sure that, you know, this is up and straight. And uh, then when I'm done, I'm gonna water some compost tea. Got it in there. Uh, every bit of that dirt that came out went back in the hole. And uh, I actually didn't get the tomato plant as deep as I thought I would at first, but this will be fine because I can add more dirt around it. I'll probably go get me a, I don't know what I'll get, but probably some good soil, good com compost soil mixture and top these off. Uh, my vermicompost, I want to put underneath it because I think that's the best place for it. And uh, anyway, water up some compost tea. Get that down in there. All right. Let that soak in really well. Now I need to get busy on the others. So I need to get eight of these put in. All right. I got two of them in the ground. They're kind of wilty right now. They need some shade. Uh, maybe they'll do better after sitting here overnight. Digging this third one, I've got a surprise. Remember I told you I find things? Look at that. Do you see that? You know what that is? That right there. That is an old pocket watch. I mean, some of the metal on it, but this top part right here is what you'd twist to turn it, to set it. It's kind of bent. I found that right here in this hole. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be going through this dirt here. Well, first I'm gonna finish digging it out. I'm gonna dig this out. I need to get my tomatoes planted, but I'm gonna investigate this dirt and uh, I'm gonna see if there's any more of this pocket watch down in here. Who knows how old that is? That thing could be, that could be pre-American uh, United States Civil War era. I mean, look how big that thing is. Big old pocket watch thing. Who knows? But anyway, I'm gonna clean that up and put it in my collection of things I've found. And uh, so, man, who knows what's under this dirt? Who knows what I'm gonna find every time I dig up one of these holes. Oh yeah, look this right here, a little porcelain piece. I found that in that hole. There was other little tiny shards, but you know, that might have been a bowl. It's kind of got got a you know shape to it there. Or or a vase or anything. But ain't that pretty? It looked like a little tree. So there's a tree. There's a tree with leaves on it. Looks like grapes or something. I don't know. Some kind of pattern there. But I, I collect all these little odds and ends and set them aside. So anyway, I need to get these tomatoes planted. All right. I got one, two, three, four, five, six planted on this front row here. I got two more to plant back here where that red bucket is. And that'll make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten tomato plants here. So I think that's a good sized tomato garden. I think it's going to turn out really good right here. Kind of looks good already. I've got these cages right there that I'm going to put around these. I need to get a couple of more cages. I need to put them up so nobody steps all over them. Um, but anyway, I'm going to come back here in a little bit and finish planting those two right there. All right, I got the tomato garden done. Got them in. 
just in time for some rain. Oh, you don't want to look at that. Okay, here we go. Clouds are coming in. Wind's blowing. Uh, somebody traveling a little bit west from here called us and let us know that rain was pouring down and it was coming in so hard and so fast that he could hardly see driving down the road. So anyway, there's the old part of the house. The front part of the house was built pre-Civil War era. So we find weird things around here, you know, like stuff. Anyway, back side of the house was built in the 1930s, I think. So anyway, digging around out here, I found a few items. Not sure, well, that's a nail. It looks like a roofing nail from, you know, not too long ago. That's a nail. That's one of those old square nails. That's old. That's from way back. And this is some kind of wire. I'm not sure. The way it's shaped, uh, who knows. And this looks like the bottom of a, a nice little wine glass. I thought it was a piece of metal, but it's actually turned out to be a piece of glass. And of course, I, I mentioned the pocket watch. I think it's a big one. I wish it was the whole thing. That would have been nice. And then this, I'm not sure what that is. It has some weight to it. It's kind of like a sort of like a ring of some sort, but not really sure. Then I've got some kind of weird piece of rock. Really light piece of rock. A piece of porcelain with some cool designs on it. I talked about that earlier. And some kind of weird rock. See that? It's kind of got a weird formation inside. Kind of like a... Like some kind of... Um, What's well, a fossil for certain. Um, and another one that's uh, kind of like a fossil. And then a piece of metally rust stuff right here. So who knows? All right, it's starting to rain. So I'm gonna pick this up and get it out of the yard. I don't wanna run over, run over it with my lawnmower and get a flat. All right, so I got my job done that I intended to do. I got my tomatoes in. And I dug holes, put compost down the bottom, set the tomatoes right on top of the compost and buried them in the dirt. And just let the tops stick up and put some little cages around them. And I got them in there. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be the end of this little video here. And then I'll do an update on how I uh, make it a little bit nicer later on. But I gotta go inside, it's starting to rain, it's starting to get wet. And, uh, yeah. Okay, good. My tomatoes need some water. All right. All right, it's raining. My tomato garden's getting rained on. Perfect. I hope they get a good soaking. I'll come out here tomorrow and wing, uh, water them some more. All right. Give me a thumbs up. <laughs>